Here's the fun fact for today. If you look at the current supply of Shiba Inu, it is about 589 trillion. The projected supply for Zen is a five to 600 trillion right now, okay? Extrapolate the price, which Shiba is down right now, and multiply by times your bag, and you get some interesting numbers. <laughs> crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow, more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Today, I want to talk about my Zen minting strategy. Okay, first and foremost, I'm going to put this out there. The whole idea of participating in the Zen network in the first year is so that you can ladder your gains into being able to power future mints. That's my primary goal. And what do I mean by that? Well, first, you don't know what the price of Zen will be in 400 days. You don't know the price of gas on ETH, what it's going to be. ETH could be 5,000, it could be 200. You know, if ETH does bottom out, if the S&P crashes, ETH could crash, and I'll talk about that here. And then the mints could get very cheap, okay? So, what am I doing? That's that's kind of what my purpose of my initial mints are is to power future mints because there's no guarantee that things will moon in a year, okay? It could take two years. It could take three years. But if you participate early in this first year of minting, you will likely have some appreciation. The mint's trading at about a 10x ratio now to the current market price. And there's a lot of other factors, you know, the Zunicorns and some of the Apex kind of hold the price floor because if if zen gets too cheap then people will scoop up zen in order to get those apex nfts i've got some price targets on a zunicorn uh, if, if zen price gets too low i'll definitely pick up a zunicorn but again that's a complete speculative instrument who knows what that's going to be worth so you participate in the first year and then, you know, there's a lot of talk about people that are like, well, you're going to have to unwind these these NFTs, but then we're going to have flash loans and a bunch of other stuff. So basically the flash loan will allow you to put up your NFT as collateral and then maybe the person providing the liquidity to unwind your stake would get some of your Zen. And Jack mentioned that liquidity providers for the flash loans will get uh, some rewards of some type. So participate in the first year so that at when those 400 days comes up maybe I only and I'm gonna ladder them out I'm gonna ladder them out okay so that when those nfts come due maybe I only have to unwind and use one or two sell one or two to power my stakes for the rest of that year number two okay so then you know, if you didn't participate in the first year, you're going to be behind everybody that participated in the first year. So that's kind of my strategy. I'm going to get a base level of Zenturions. Those are 128 BMUs. You don't have to do a Zenturion, but just get your base, you know, mints out of the way. You know, get like five or 10 or whatever. And then you have a minting schedule. Maybe it's once a week, maybe it's once a month. But the idea is that they're laddered out so that you have coins coming in on a continual basis. That's one of the key, most key strategies that I, you know, that I can share with you. Um, because then you can participate for free moving forward. And that's a great goal to have, you know, as far as being able to mint into year two. Now, if you just do like one or two and then set it and forget about it, you're a one-shot wonder, you know? So take your budget, divide it out over a year, and then decide how many VMUs you want to do, and then you can kind of set up your, your minting 
schedule or strategy based on that. You're like, well, how can I tell where I am on my wealth ranking and stuff? You know, obviously everybody knows about Zen Turbo, but another thing you can do is you can go on to OpenSea, select the NFTs, and then go to analytics, and you can kind of see your position and where you fall in the analytics to see where you want to be. Now, I've been asked by several people, how many coins are you trying to get? Well, <laughs> as many as I can. But here's the fun fact for today. If you look at the current supply of Shiba Anu, it is about 589 trillion. The projected supply for Zen is a five to 600 trillion right now, okay? Extrapolate the price which Shiba is down right now and multiply by times your bag and you get some interesting numbers. <laughs> That's on the low. So during a bowl, ooh, yeah, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> so something to think about that they would have similar supplies. Now Shiba said that they could have a, a quadrillion or whatever it is, Quiz bazillion, which is basically a thousand, a thousand trillion, but there's only 589 circulating supply right now. So, fun fact to consider when you're looking at the coin counts and looking at price appreciation, it's just liquidity is not there. How many projects can you get in at a $10 million market cap over an extended period of time that are blue chip where the devs are building like maniacs? People just People just don't understand this, you know? And there's no rug to pull. There's nothing to pull, okay? So, but do you have to have faith? Yes, you do. And vision? Yes, you do. 445 days is as long as you think it is, man. It'll be, it'll be here before you know it. But, oh, the last thing. Another reason why you want to ladder your stakes out is let's just say that ETH crashes to $500 and gas goes down to a dollar. We could have a hyperinflationary moment in time on Zen where the gas is so cheap that people just mint their socks off. So that's another reason why you'd want to tear your, your stake, your mints, because then you'll get a nice cost average of the gas over a period of time. And it, just in case it does crash, you'll be guarded because you could you could up your mints during the low period, um, low gas periods, which, you know, if you've been around, low gas periods do happen on ETH, it just happens. But now, is that more, is that more likely with how NFTs are making a comeback and stuff? And, you know, who knows, you never know. But what you can do is you can plan so that you're positioned to be able to take advantage of it. So, hope you liked today's video, like, subscribe, and as always, this is Crypto So. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.